There are many misconceptions surrounding blood donation, considering the incredible impact it can have on saving lives. I am Dr. Joe, and I am here to meet some patients and clear their misconceptions. Donating blood is painful. This is a partial myth, as there is some pain as the needle goes in, but it is relatively mild and short-lived. Once the needle is in position, you will be comfortable throughout. I have high blood pressure, so it's too dangerous for me to donate blood. You can donate blood if your blood pressure is below 180 systolic and below 100 diastolic at the time of donation. I might contract an infection if I give blood. Many individuals are afraid of contracting infections while donating blood. You should know that new and sterile needles are used for drawing blood which are disposed after single use. Hence, there's no chance of catching any bloodborne infections. I cannot donate if I have high cholesterol. This is untrue. Neither high blood cholesterol levels nor cholesterol lowering drugs disqualifies you from donating blood. I have recently traveled. This makes me unsuitable for blood donation. Depending on where you traveled and when you may not be able to donate blood for up to one year. Travel to countries with notable and active viral outbreaks is a risk and will be assessed on a case-to-case -case basis by the nurse or technician handling your donation registration. I have sickle cell disease. My blood may not be suitable for other patients. While patients with sickle cell disease cannot donate blood, individuals with sickle cell trait can donate their blood without hesitation. How is my blood beneficial for patients with sickle cell disease? A patient with SCD suffers from chronic pain and needs 30 to 40 units of blood transfusion each year. It helps to increase the oxygen carrying capacity of their blood. I do not need to answer the donor health questionnaire carefully as the blood bank will be testing the donated blood anyway. You need to answer the donor health questionnaire carefully. This is important to ensure that the donation process is safe for you and that your blood is safe for the patients. You may have some genetic traits that might make you unsuitable for blood donation. Patients with sickle trait S are the only carriers of the disease and can donate blood. How do I know if I'm a sickle cell carrier? How do I proceed further? Prenatal screening and genetic testing will help you to know if you're a sickle cell disease carrier. You can seek counseling, be a part of the community, and educate yourself about the disease.